Hello everyone, welcome back to SEPDC Panther. This is Amit, and in this video, we are going to talk about what is case assignment role and how we can use it effectively while we are working with different case management. Like case is coming from email or case is coming from web. So here is a very simple diagram which is going. We are going to follow and we are going to implement. The case is created either from email to case or web to case. What we are going to check is if priority is high and origin is email. If that is the case, we will say assign the case to high priority queue. That means we are also going to create a queue for case object which is going to be high priority. Then after we will check if this is not the case. Again we will check if case priority is medium and case origin is web. If we say that okay, if this is condition. This condition is going to pass, then we are going to assign the case to the priority cases queue, which is medium priority. We are also going to create this queue. If that is also not matching, we are going to assign a case to the default queue. That means this is a new queue as well that we are going to create here in this video itself. So, this is our Salesforce environment where we are doing all the setup. And before we actually start, Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe the channel, and also press the bell icon so that you can get all updates from us. So, here we are inside our Salesforce environment. First thing that we need to do is we need to create the queues. So, we will quickly search for queue from the search box and we will select under uh, queues under users and we will create three back to back queues for case object. One thing the first one was high priority queue. So we have got this one. It is saying queue email. If you wanted to give the email to the queue, we can have that as well. I'm just putting something here random email. If you wanted to put, you can also put email, send email to members. So whenever a case is assigned to this particular queue, we wanted to send the emails to the members. And then what object is it is a case object. We'll select case. And what are all the users? I'll select John Smith and security control. These are the two users, and the third user is Amit Singh. If you wanted to have some roles, public groups, or uh, territories, you can also have those as well. I'm not going to add anything else. We'll go ahead and click on save. This is the first queue that we have got for our high priority cases. The next thing that we are going to have is we are going to have medium priority cases. And again, we are going to check the checkbox. Object is going to be the case. And users are going to be the users that we have selected for the previous queue and we are going to save it in the near real time or we'll say that whenever we, you are working with real time you will be having different users for each queues there might be few users who, who are like in both the queues or all the queues but for most of the case you will be having the different users so you, you we will say that default queue which is going to have the default and then Again, we'll select OK, select uh, this checkbox. Object is going to be the case, and users are going to be only one, which is Amit Singh. So these are the three queues that we have prepared, and now these queues can be the owner of our case object. So we have got three queues for case object, and these queues can be the owner of any case record that we are going to create. So now we have created the queue. So how we will get to know that which cases are assigned to which queue? If you go to the different tab or if you try to open the case tab there will be three different list view that you will be able to see now these will be three new list views what are these three new list views if you see here in the drop down click on the drop down you will see high priority queue medium priority queue and there is a default queue so these are basically the three queues that you have got that you have created next thing that we need to create is we need to create case assignment role so we will search for case assignment and uh, this assignment rules are very helpful while you have different criteria and you wanted to assign the cases for the different different criteria so we already have one standard we will create our own so i will say that as a dc panther rule you can have anything your business might provide the name of the rule you can have that one and one thing that you need to keep in mind is just go ahead and make this active. So once you will make this active, you will see that the previous one has been deactivated. So what we say is case assignment rule can be active, which is only one. That means one case assignment rule can be active at a time and one case assignment rule can have multiple rule entries. 
the rule entries that we have talked here like case then web to case web to email sorry email to case so what we'll do is next we'll go ahead and click on new and here what we'll say sort order is going to be number one that means this priority in this criteria is going to execute it first so what we will do is we'll say that if case origin is first thing we'll check if it is email that is what there we had in our diagram we'll select email if this is email and case priority is high because these were the two regions uh, two information that we have so we'll select case reason i'm uh, sorry case priority as high so what if this is the case we are going to assign this uh, case to a queue which is high priority queue so we'll select we have got high priority queue what is going to be the email template which is going to send as a notification to the users so just go ahead and click on email template and search for assignment you will see case assignment notification this is the default assignment template that you will get so you will just get that go ahead and click on save and new because we also need to define two more criteria okay not two more one more criteria and we'll talk about for the default queue so the second criteria was case origin is equivalent to web so we will select web over here and then we have got case priority which is equivalent to medium when when we have got web and medium this time we are going to assign to which queue which is medium queue so we'll select medium priority queue email template is going to be the same which we have used from the previous which is case assignment notification we'll go ahead and click on save now we have got one which is for email to case one which is for web to case and our rule is active so we have got two entries you can have multiple entries i believe there are uh, limitations for up to 50 but uh, i am not quite sure about that you can check that into the document but you have got two entries there is one more criteria which says that if th these two are, aren't matching we need to assign to default queue but to do that what we will do is we'll go to the support settings we will say that search for support and select support settings under services click on edit now it will say what is default case owner this is the one default case owner we will select it is going to be a queue and we'll click on lookup icon it will show us the queues so we'll select default queue and notify case owner will say yes notify the case owner and we'll go ahead and click on save so now what we did is we have covered all three scenarios we have prepared our uh, cases like whatever the cases are coming from email we are assigning to high priority cases whichever cases are coming from web we are assigning to the medium priority cases other all cases we are assigning to the default queues so now we are done with the case assignment rule setup what we will do is we will go to the object manager we will go to case object there is one setting that we need to enable for the case page layout we will just go ahead edit the page layout which we are using i will suggest edit all the page layouts that you have and then click on layout properties and then make sure that for this checkbox which is saying that case assignment checkbox then make sure you are checking so on edit page as well as check as default okay so if you check as default it is going to run the case assignment rule by default for every new case so i have enabled for all the case page layouts once you have enabled what you need to do is go to the case tab in a different browser click on new and here what we will do is we'll test for the web first we will say that medium is priority case origin is web and you can say here for the subject you can say that web to case uh, web to case assignment and then click on save before clicking on save if you have noticed this assign using active checkbox role button is checked by default and that is coming because of the setting that we have enabled in our page layout you will go ahead click on save and once you click on save you can see here case owner is medium priority queue because our criteria says if the priority is medium case origin is web then assign it to medium priority queue next thing we are going to create one more case which we, where we say that priority is going to high origin is going to email and this time subject we will say that email to case instead of web to case and then we will just go ahead and save it as soon as you do this 
this case is assigned to the high priority queue because the assignment rule says priority is uh, priority is going to high and origin is going to email now if you wanted to see the cases to these queues you can just go to there in the queue say that high priority queue you will get that queue over here the case over here you can select it and you can accept the case so as soon as you accept the case the case is going to assign to the particular user the user who have accepted that case there is one last test that we would like to perform here is a status is new priority is anything we'll say that what is any chatter and we will say it is going to assign a default queue so the owner is default queue because none of the case assignment rules are working and our default owner at the case support setting is saying that we have got default queue as a default owner so that is how your case assignment rule works you can have multiple rule entries but the point that you think that you need to remember is at a time there can be only one active assignment rule and there can be multiple rule entries so this is it for this video and uh, thank you for your time hope you have enjoyed and before you go ahead please do like share subscribe the channel and in the next video we are going to talk about what are case auto responsible thank you